Hello, friends. Hey, I am back. We are back in Indiana. If you watched my previous video, um, you got to see a lot of footage of me and my family. Well, not of me and my family, but of us being in North Carolina. We went to um, Whittier, which is a very, very small little town in North Carolina, um, just through the Great Smoky Mountains from Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg um, through the mountains and on the other side. And we are now back and it was a wonderful day. We had beautiful, beautiful sunshine. Today, we, my husband and I went out for a really long walk and just got to really enjoy the weather today. And um, yeah, so we're back and it's always, isn't it always good to come home after you've been on a trip? I just always find that I look so forward to coming home and just not only just being in my bed, my own bed, but just being back with all the things that are familiar and just, you know, it's, it's such a neat feeling to come back and know that you have a home, a place where, you know, you feel safe and secure and um, that you're familiar with things and, and it just makes you feel um, good inside and that's how I was kind of feeling today and the weather was really good so that helped enhance the feeling a little bit too so that was really good um, hey I'm getting on here to show you a few things that I got while I was gone so the first thing I wanted to show you over here is this very very cute sloth night light I got that actually a um, gal from that works in the schools it has been making these and some other similar night lights with angels on them or um, ribbons with the different colors for that stand for the different cancers. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even remember all the different ones she did, but I know like angels and sloths and um, the ribbons and I'm not sure if she has other ones. But the reason this one is a sloth is it has a significant meaning. Um, the, a gal that I work with, who I also went to high school with, which is really kind of cool, um, her daughter actually um, loved sloths. That was kind of her spirit animal. And um, unfortunately, her daughter, um, at the age of 20, passed away from leukemia or cancer. Um, I don't have the specific type. But um, she got cancer twice in her young life, and both times were while she was in high school. So um, as a way to raise money for Relay for Life, um, the money goes towards Relay for Life, finding a cure for cancer, childhood cancer. Um, there is a statistic out there that only like 4% of the money that comes in for cancer, I believe if I'm saying this right, goes toward childhood cancers. So that is not a very big percentage. I just know that a not enough money is going toward childhood cancer. And um, her name was Emily Jovevsky, and she was a beautiful young lady. Um, I have a picture right here. This is actually her uh, obituary page that was online. And um, so very very beautiful young woman it has been a very difficult year it was the beginning of this school year august 16th of 2018 that emily passed away i i did want to kind of um do something like this for a while and what i did was i started looking online for some different bracelets that i could start wearing um to promote awareness and um, that I could wear them and talk about them and maybe an experience that I've had that has hit close to home. Um, so I am going to show you those today, but before I get started on that, I wanted to show you this little baby pod that I got from AliExpress. Um, little Ellie looks really cute in it right now, but I have to be honest, I am a little frustrated with it. It came broken. And it's very flimsy. Of course, it looks better online. You know, it's just kind of this little woolly material, which is nice. And I just wanted something that I could sit 
you know, some of the babies in or do some posing with it and take pictures and whatnot. Um, when it came, however, and I'm not going to take her out right now, but it actually is broken down in here. It's just a plastic, almost like a thin plastic bucket or something that is cut out. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'll show more a different time. But I'm in the process of trying to see if I can get a refund for it. Um, it just wasn't packaged well. If it would have been packaged in a box, it would have never gotten uh, broken. Um, it just doesn't sit exactly right because it's broken down at the bottom inside here. And it's just not very well made. But I wanted to give it a shot. There's another um, Reborn YouTuber that got one and hers was just fine. So... But I do want to show it because I may be able to fix it. If they don't give me a refund, I may just try to fix it. So, and then the next thing I got was this little um, couch or little chair. And it looks really, really cute, except that it is also from the same place. And I'm not trying to bad, you know, bad mouth them, but it's actually foam inside here and it's actually bent. That's how it was bent down. And again, all it, all they did was just put it in a one of these types of bags, <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me, and it just got crumpled and it just got knocked over. So it actually looked bigger than on line than it does here. Um, so it does still look really pretty cute here. I'm gonna see if maybe if they won't refund me or partial refund me if I can do something with it. It's very small though. If you um, take a look at, let me see if I can get Allie uh, or Ellie with one hand. Um, I mean, it's, she's pretty big on it. So it's not very big at all. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. And I think they say both the chair the chair and this little couch are supposed to fit up to a year old. And I can tell you in real life, um, just looking at it here in real life size, um, it would not fit. Well, you just saw Ellie on this little couch. I mean, it would break. It's just made out of styrofoam. It's just styrofoam in there. So it would not last. So anyway... I tried it. I'm trying to see if I can reconcile something. So anyway, they are very cute if they end up working, <laughs> if it ends up working out. Now, next I got a package. And if you remember, not too long ago, I don't know if it's been a month or, oh, or how long ago, but I had gotten this cute little Ann Gettys vintage bunny um, baby dressed up like a bunny in a chocolate egg with the ribbon around it so I wanted to get some more of those collector things to put around here in the um, nursery so here we go I got a few more and I'm just gonna set them up here got this cute little bunny right here and this one's actually bigger than the little guy that's in the egg. Oops, sorry. So there's the sizes there. And then I got this little bear. That one actually had the tags on it. And then I got a squirrel. And the little squirrel actually got his whiskers are kind of messed up. But very, very cute. That little face, a little tail on the back. So, and then the last one is this cute little sunflower or daisy. They're really, really cute. And I'm so glad I got them. They're going to be a nice little addition to the nursery. I thought that was cool. And I was looking forward to get, getting them. In the mail they came um, I believe while I was gone either that or yesterday when we got back and so those are really cute I was really happy about that about getting them now the other part is real quick I wanted to show you the um, 
the different bracelets I got. So hold on one second. Okay, so here is the first little bracelet I got. And um, this one is from the Cherry Sue Boutique. And it's actually an orange band. And in the middle, it's got the word hope and a little ribbon. And this one I got for in recognition um, of kidney cancer. So that, that beautiful bracelet again was from the Cherry Sue Boutique. And she is on Etsy. So you can find her there. The next one I have right here is from Happily Ever Erica. I don't know if you can see that. The light's kind of going down here a little bit. And um, this one here was for suicide prevention. And it is a beautiful, let me see if I can get, it is a beautiful purple and kind of turquoise beads with white, with white beads. And I chose this one because I think this is uh, an ongoing, important topic. And there's a lot more of teen suicide that I've heard of um, within probably the last five or so years than I ever remember hearing. I actually worked for uh, or volunteered for a place called Remedy Live here in Indiana, um, close in my town here where I live. And um, what they are is actually online advocates for um, teenagers, young adults that are having a hard time. They need somebody to talk to, but they wanna stay anonymous. I was amazed at how many people I would get on line. It was an online thing, so they, they kind of come into our site the Remedy Live site, and then um, whoever's available, um, you know, like let's say I was available, then I would, I sometimes I would have more than one conversation going. I think there was a couple times I had at least three conversations going. And you kind of got to keep track. And I, I really wanted to give each uh, person my undivided attention and you know let them know that i was focused on them and i was listening to them and so forth but it was amazing how many young people that i talked to on that online site that felt alone felt like they didn't have anybody felt like they didn't have any other recourse um, some of them had already attempted suicide some of them talked about um, uh, harming self-harming and some of them you could tell wanted help you know if we can touch one person's life it, it, we've done what I think we're here for and I think we can do so much more so this one was a fun one this one I actually got from Nisha and Nisha um, is with AWP Beads. All, all these are from Etsy. AWP Beads. Uh, let's see. And she's in Houston, Texas. And she wrote me a little note here that says, Hi, lovely. Thank you so much for your purchase and supporting an amazing cause. Your 15% could be the one that made a huge difference to your associated cause. You are an amazing person with a wonderful heart. And then it gives some rules uh, how to take care of the jewelry. I just think that's cool that she put in a little note and just said, hey, you know, hey, thank you for doing this. Your 15% or whatever was taken from the amount that I paid could be the one that makes a difference in somebody's lives, in somebody's life. Um, so it came in a little cute packet right there. Okay. And I think she put some other goodies in here because I thought it was, let me see, I thought it was just the bracelet. So this bracelet here, oh, I don't know if you can see it very well. 
it is all black all around and then blue in the middle four. I don't know. I'm kind of out of the shot. I can't see if you can see it, but um, black and then the dark blue ones. And this fits absolutely awesome. But this one here, okay, it does have a significant awareness. And what this one is for is it is for child abuse awareness child abuse prevention awareness and this one is let's see she's on Etsy and I thought did I say a name for her I don't think I had a name I'm sure there is online but it was AWP beads and along inside she gave me because I think I had said something about working with children with autism so she gave me a little autism awareness bracelet and it has the puzzle pieces on it, which I thought was so cool. I think um, by having something like this to just remind people that we have to be aware of differences and how people handle things differently. And sometimes when we see somebody that maybe isn't acting exactly how we think they should act, there may be other reasons and we should not judge because we have not walked in their footsteps. Um, she also gave some little stickers. I love someone with autism. She gave me some of those. Autism awareness, educate, accept, and understand. Someone with autism loves me. Um, and then just some of the little small, oops, of the small stickers with the puzzle pieces on it as well as these beautiful little ribbons with the puzzle pieces on it. So I thought that was so awesome just to put some extra things in there and to, to think about me. This next one is from Little Bird and Me Beads and it's from Allison says, thank you so much for placing an order with me via my Etsy shop and supporting my little business. I hope that you're happy with your purchase. Um, yeah, and then it just gives a little bit other background. But this one says survivor, and it says the greater your storm, the brighter your rainbow. And it's got like a little rainbow of beads on there. Believe, wear, remember. And this one, I think, if I remember online, was for to cover a lot of different things. Can cover a survivor from cancer, a survivor from some other kind of emotional or physical trauma, a survivor maybe in um, a natural disaster, a survivor um, from domestic abuse child abuse, um, a survivor from some other disease, um, a survivor from just about anything. And so that one's going to be kind of my all-inclusive one. And I'm going to use it maybe to talk about different um, things. And maybe I can find some neat little stories and stuff and we can, you know, kind of look at those um, too. So Anyway, I want you to kind of watch as I'm doing my videos and see if I have any of these on. And if you do see one of them, mention it or ask about it. Um, I will probably say something about it, I'm sure. So you may, <clears throat> you may hear me talking about it a little bit. So thank you for watching. I appreciate everything that you guys um, do. I love the comments. I love the positive comments. I love um, hearing from you guys. Um, I love visiting your channels and commenting on your dolls and seeing what you're talking about and what's going on in your lives. Um, I just um, look forward to making the next video. I'm excited. I've got a reborn box opening coming soon, maybe the first of the week probably the first maybe a couple days of the week maybe and 
tuned. I'm not going to tell you if it's a boy or a girl, because who knows. So that is going to be exciting. Um, and maybe just keep a lookout for some of these little um, cutie patooties right here in their little costumes. I just love Ann Getty's stuff. So I hope you guys are all doing well. You're safe. You're healthy. You're happy. Share something kind with someone else, whether it just be a word, an action, a gesture of something. Um, do something special that makes somebody happy. Um, it can be just small, just saying something. Um, buy them their favorite candy bar. Um, surprise them with something. But um, it just makes your day better, and it makes their day better. Uh, so if you want to subscribe, please do so like and comment also um, let me know anything that you would like to see that I have not shown you in a while that's it guys have a great night and we will talk to you really soon bye bye